Venus, often dubbed Earth's evil twin, is a planet of extreme contrasts. With its suffocating atmosphere, blistering temperatures, and unrelenting sulfuric acid rain, Venus stands as one of the most hostile environments in our solar system. Yet, despite its harsh conditions, Venus has fascinated scientists and space agencies alike. The history of Venus exploration is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, showcasing the remarkable achievements of early Soviet missions, the advances made by modern spacecraft, and the ongoing quest to uncover the planet's secrets. The Soviet Union embarked on its journey to explore Venus in the early 1960s, determined to unlock the mysteries of this enigmatic planet. The Soviet space program, particularly the Venera program, aimed to land spacecraft on Venus and withstand its extreme environment. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, these missions laid the groundwork for our understanding of Venus and provided crucial insights into its atmosphere and surface. The first Soviet mission to Venus was Venera 1, launched in 1961. Although Venera 1 lost contact with Earth before reaching Venus, it marked the beginning of Soviet efforts to explore the planet. The Venera 4 mission, launched in 1967, made history as the first spacecraft to enter Venus's atmosphere. Despite technical difficulties that prevented it from transmitting data from the surface, Venera 4 provided valuable information about the planet's atmospheric composition and pressure. Following Venera 4, the Soviet Union continued its exploration with Venera 5 and Venera 6, launched in 1969. These missions furthered our knowledge of Venus's atmosphere, revealing its dense, multi-layered cloud cover and extreme pressure. However, these early missions were not without challenges. The probes were unable to survive the intense heat and pressure of Venus's surface for extended periods, limiting the data they could provide. The breakthrough in Soviet Venus exploration came in December 1970 with the successful landing of Venera 7. This mission marked the first time a spacecraft had landed on the surface of another planet and survived long enough to transmit data. Venera 7 was equipped with a powerful cooling system designed to withstand the planet's extreme temperatures. Despite the intense heat, the probe managed to send valuable data back to Earth for 23 minutes. The data transmitted by Venera 7 revealed crucial information about Venus's temperature, atmospheric pressure, and density. Scientists learned that Venus's surface temperature could reach up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, a result of the planet's thick atmosphere trapping heat through the greenhouse effect. The atmospheric pressure was found to be about 90 times greater than that of Earth, enough to crush most spacecraft. Venera 7's success was a significant milestone in Venus exploration, demonstrating that it was possible to land on and survive the planet's harsh surface conditions, at least for a short time. This achievement paved the way for subsequent missions and provided a foundation for future exploration. The 1970s were a period of significant advancements in Soviet Venus exploration. In October 1975, the Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions achieved another historic milestone by landing on Venus and transmitting the first images directly from the planet's surface. These images provided the first direct views of Venus's terrain, revealing a rocky and barren landscape. The Venera 9 mission captured images of a terrain covered with numerous sharp-edged rocks, while Venera 10 provided a panorama that displayed bizarre formations resembling frozen lava flows. Although the images were in black and white due to the limitations of the cameras and the harsh conditions on the planet, they offered a glimpse into the surface of a world that was previously shrouded in mystery. To protect the cameras from Venus's extreme temperatures, they were placed inside the spacecraft in a special compartment. Light from the surface was directed to the cameras through a periscopic device. Despite the protective measures, the cameras could not capture detailed color images due to the intense heat and pressure. Nevertheless, the images provided valuable data on Venus's surface features and composition. The Venera 14 mission, launched in 1981, continued the Soviet exploration of Venus with significant advancements in technology. This mission managed to stay on the planet's surface for 57 minutes, thanks to a sealed titanium case that protected its instruments from the extreme conditions. The Venera 14 probe captured 14 colorful and 8 black and white images of Venus's surface, providing a more detailed view of the planet's landscape. One of the most famous images from Venera 14 was a panoramic view of Venus's surface, showcasing rock formations surrounded by dark, shallow soil. The colorful images revealed a striking landscape with rock formations that appeared to be surrounded by a thin layer of soil. This mission also captured several unusual objects in the images, 
which led to speculation about the presence of signs of civilization on Venus. Some scientists initially thought these objects resembled a disc, a black cloth, and a scorpion. However, it was later determined that these were parts of the probe that had detached during the landing. The Venera 14 mission marked the end of the Soviet Venus exploration program. Despite its successes, the Soviet probes faced numerous challenges, and the harsh conditions on Venus remained a formidable obstacle to further exploration. While the Soviet Union was making significant strides in Venus exploration, NASA was also working on its missions to study the planet. In 1962, NASA launched the Mariner 2 spacecraft, which became the first American probe to fly by Venus. The data collected by Mariner 2 revolutionized our understanding of Venus and provided critical insights into its atmosphere and surface. Mariner 2 revealed that Venus was a desolate, red-hot world with temperatures reaching up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The probe's findings highlighted the planet's thick atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. The atmospheric pressure on Venus was found to be about nine times greater than that of Earth, a factor that would crush most spacecraft. In 1974, NASA launched the Mariner 10 mission, which provided the first close-up images of Venus. Although the images were edited to represent what Venus might look like in color to the human eye, they revealed thick clouds of carbon dioxide enveloping the planet. The Mariner 10 mission marked a significant milestone in our exploration of Venus and provided valuable data that contributed to our understanding of the planet's atmosphere and surface. The 1989 launch of NASA's Magellan spacecraft marked a new era in Venus exploration. Unlike its predecessors, Magellan used radar to peer through Venus's thick cloud cover and map the planet's surface. The data collected by Magellan revealed a wealth of information about Venus's geological features and provided stunning images of its terrain. One of the most striking discoveries made by Magellan was Maxwell Montes, the tallest mountain on Venus. Standing at 11 kilometers high, Maxwell Montes is significantly taller than Earth's Mount Everest, which rises 8.8 .8 kilometers above sea level. The Magellan mission also provided images of other notable features on Venus, including ancient volcanoes, unique meteorite impact craters, and enormous mountains. Among the fascinating structures revealed by Magellan was the giant Aim Corona, a volcanic formation with a diameter of about 200 kilometers. Coronas are ring-shaped structures formed by plumes of molten rock flowing from deep within Venus's mantle and crust. The Magellan mission also uncovered pancake domes, unusual volcanic structures characterized by their circular shape and a diameter of approximately 35 kilometers. These pancake domes were formed by ancient eruptions of highly viscous lava. Additionally, Magellan's radar data revealed tesserae, tectonically complex units occupying about 8% of Venus's surface. These high-standing crustal plateaus, invaded by lava flows, are unique to Venus and offer valuable insights into the planet's geological history. While the surface of Venus presents a harsh and inhospitable environment, its clouds have long intrigued scientists as a potential habitat for microbial life. Despite the extreme heat on Venus's surface, the high clouds of the planet have more moderate temperatures, around 30 degrees Celsius. However, these clouds also contain about 90% sulfuric acid, which presents a challenging environment for life. Scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, are currently investigating the possibility of microbial life in Venus's clouds. Their research focuses on finding supermicrobes that might thrive in the relatively temperate conditions of the upper atmosphere. The search for life in Venus's clouds represents a new frontier in our exploration of the planet and raises intriguing questions about the potential for life in extreme environments. As we look to the future, several exciting missions are planned to further explore Venus and unlock its remaining secrets. NASA is preparing to launch two new probes, Da Vinci and Veritas, to investigate the planet's atmosphere and surface in greater detail. The Da Vinci mission will focus on studying Venus's atmospheric composition and understanding its geological history, while Veritas will use radar to map the planet's surface and investigate its tectonic activity. The European Space Agency, ESA, is also gearing up to send the Envision orbiter to Venus. This mission aims to provide additional data on the planet's geology and atmosphere, complementing the findings of previous missions. The Envision Orbiter will help scientists gain a deeper understanding of Venus's surface features and atmospheric processes. Russia is working on a project called Venera D, which aims to send both an orbiter and a lander to Venus. 
the Venera D mission will seek to further explore Venus's atmosphere and surface, with the goal of having the lander withstand the harsh environment for an entire month. This mission promises to provide a wealth of new data and images from the planet's surface, offering valuable insights into its geology and climate. The exploration of Venus has been a journey of discovery, marked by significant achievements and ongoing mysteries. From the early Soviet missions that laid the groundwork for Venus exploration to the recent advancements in space technology, our understanding of Venus has evolved dramatically. The harsh conditions of the planet have posed formidable challenges, but the perseverance of scientists and space agencies has yielded remarkable insights. The Soviet Union's pioneering efforts with missions like Venera 7, Venera 9, and Venera 14 provided the first direct views of Venus's surface and valuable data on its atmosphere. NASA's Mariner and Magellan missions furthered our knowledge of the planet's atmosphere, surface features, and geological history. The search for microbial life in Venus's clouds and the upcoming missions promise to unlock even more secrets about this fascinating world. As we continue to explore Venus and the cosmos beyond, we remain captivated by the mysteries that lie in the depths of space. The future of Venus exploration holds exciting possibilities, with new missions set to provide deeper insights into this enigmatic planet. Stay tuned for the latest updates on space exploration and the discoveries that shape our understanding of the universe. If you're excited about future missions and the potential for new discoveries, let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about the latest developments. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the wonders of the cosmos.